What's up guys, this is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video regarding some gaming news. In today's gaming news we're going to be discussing a brand new game that was recently announced. And I'm pretty sure you guys already seen this, I'm pretty sure you guys seen it on Twitter, social media, YouTube, IGN, just everything. Guys, you guys can see it from the title headline, a new brand new Marvel game has been announced from Square Enix and Marvel. That's right guys, we're talking about an official Marvel game, Avengers game, has been announced by Square Enix and Marvel. And as you guys know, in the past, Marvel, in terms of their games, honestly, they suck. I, I, I can't lie, they, they're just absolutely horrible and they're just not good at all. And honestly, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty pathetic because you would think that a company that big such as Marvel, especially after making so many movies that made off that made off with so much money they will make some high quality games and honestly that didn't happen and I know some reasons some of them are due to licensings and you know some of them are just due to not you know you know giving a care or whatever but you know it's been pretty pathetic for the past years and I'm glad Marvel is finally taking the initiative to step up their game and you know change the course how people see their games and you know the first step in that is with um Spider-Man, as you guys already know, Spider-Man was announced at last year's E3. Um, also, you have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and we have a brand new Avengers game that's kicking off a partnership between Square Enix and Marvel. And as you guys know, Square Enix, they're pretty, they're pretty darn good in terms of developing their games. They've made the um, the Tomb Raider games, the Final Fantasy games. They, they're, they're just, they're pretty darn good. They're pretty darn good. So, you know, let's actually sit down and discuss what we have to share, and you know, I'm going to give you guys my opinion right after this article, so let's go. <clears throat> New Avengers game kicks off partnership between Square Enix and Marvel. After years of working with a diverse array of publishers like Activision, Capcom, and Telltale, Marvel is adding a new partnership to its stable. Today, the company announced a new deal with Square Enix to create AAA games from the Marvel franchises, starting with The Avengers. Square Enix is tapping two of its most accomplished Western developers for the project, with logos for Crystal Dynamics, aka Tomb Raider, and Edios Montreal, Duos X Mankind Divided, Thief, both appearing in the teaser trailer. The teaser doesn't reveal any gameplay but sends the strong suggestion that the first game features Thor, Iron Man, and Captain America, the latter two who eventually spearhead factions in the Civil War dust-up. The Square Enix press release, the Avengers project is being designed for gamers worldwide and will be packed with all the characters, environments, and iconic moments that have thrilled longtime fans of the franchise. Featuring a completely original story, it will introduce a universe can gamers can play in for years to come. My apologies for the screw-up. Let's go down. The Avengers is just the first of a multi-game partnership. Square Enix says we can expect more information on a project including the Avengers in 2018. To hear more of our speculation and thoughts on the partnership, watch the video below with Matt Miller, Andrew Rayner, and Brian Chi. So that's Game Informer. If you guys want to watch their video, I will leave a link inside the description so you guys can check it out. But let's actually check out this teaser trailer for those who did not see it. I saw it much earlier today, but you know, for those who didn't see it, which I highly doubt, let's check it out right now. They say the time of heroes is over. Hulk. That if you're different, you're dangerous. But I know the truth. The world will always need heroes. Just need to reassemble. So that was the teaser trailer right there. This is pretty much an announcement. They're just announcing that they're working on a Avengers project. And I'm pretty darn excited. As I mentioned before earlier in the video, Marvel, they have to step their game up in terms of gaming. It's, pre it's pretty darn pathetic that they've actually had so many years of really, really, really bad games. And, you know, they just didn't care. They just only expanded into the, the mobile games, which actually sucks because, you know, I, um, I don't play mobile games that often. And for those who do, well, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. But, you know, it's just not for me. And it's, it's pretty darn irritating. DC, they have many 
nice games on consoles. Triple A titles, in fact. You have the Batman Arkham series, and you have Injustice. Those games are absolutely fun. They are a ton of fun, especially Batman the Arkham series. Those were just phenomenal. They won freaking rewards, Game of the Year rewards and all of that. And Injustice, that's just an awesome fighting game. You're able to use your freaking favorite DC character. So, you know, Marvel, step your game up. And I'm really happy they're doing this. I'm really happy they're doing this. I'm really happy they decided to say to themselves, let's work on our gaming stuff and improve. Let's actually stop with this nonsense. I'm really glad they realized that. So this is something I will be looking forward to. Unfortunately, we probably won't be getting that much information until later this year, possibly. Or, you know, they may surprise us and give us more information within the next few weeks or so. I'm just looking forward to it. Regardless, you know, I'm pretty darn pumped because, you know, we have a brand new Marvel game being made by AAA developers such as Square Enix, not Square Enix, my apologies, Crystal Dynamics and Edios Montreal. So, you know, I'm pretty darn excited. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Are you guys pumped? Are you guys excited? Let's see what Game Informer thinks. Seeing heavy hitters like Crystal Dynamics get a chance to work on Marvel properties is exciting for fans of the comics and films. We wonder what this means for the future of both Tomb Raider and Duos X. While Tomb Raider continues to perform well, Duos X will kind of struggle to gain traction with gamers despite generally favorable reviews. Alright, so you know that's Game Informer's opinions, but I want to hear your guys' opinions. Let me know in the comment section below so we can have a nice quality discussion. This is pretty much me announcing that I will be following this game because, you know, I like Marvel. I like it more than DC. No hate on DC though. DC is awesome. I just like Marvel. I prefer Marvel. But I will be following this game and you know I'm pretty unexcited for it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this is Sound Jordan here. Be sure to follow my Twitter. I will leave all links inside in the description. So thank you guys for watching once more. This is Sound Jordan once again. Peace, late, and have a lovely, awesome day.